Jeg er Ola Onsrud, reenacting a late 14th century night from Northern Europe. In this video, I will talk about the crest on my great helm. The helmet is made by master armorer Albert Collins, based on the Black Prince's original great helm in the Canterbury Cathedral. The crest worn on the helmet is a personal identification of the knight together with his coat of arms. Sometimes the crest has symbols that matches the coat of arms, but can also be something entirely different. Luckily, the Black Prince's great helm has its crest, a lion like one of the lions on his coat of arms. The seal of the Norwegian king Håkon V shows both his coat of arms and his crest. For my personal crest, I have chosen to reuse the links and the crosses from my coat of arms. Let me now show you how I made it. Once again, welcome to my workshop. Now I will show you how I made the crest for my great helm. It's always smart to start making a paper pattern. First the crown that will be in thin leather and then the lower parts in silk with linen lining. After cutting out the leather part, I cut out two crosses on each side section. Before I sew the parts together with two needles and a double thread. The best way to dye leather black is to put it in a bucket of water with iron for a few days. Next, the lower side pans in silk, starting with the linen lining, followed by the parts for the wreath around the top of the crown. The parts for the lynx head are cut out of thick leather and ready for assembly. The lynx head is dyed black in the same way as the crown. Still wet is easy to press into shape. Then it's time to assemble the parts. The crest is attached to the great helm with a linen thread through two holes, front and back. And the crest is finished. I also made the crest of Norwegian King Håkon VI Magnusson for the same great helm. <laughs> 